Well, we've been given a lineup which suggests a 3 6 1 formation. Jim. Well, what tends to happen with a, a puzzling looking formation like this is that two of the more creative midfielders take up slightly inverted attacking roles to make it a, a simpler 3 4 3 setup or indeed 3 4 2 1. That's what should unfold here. At the moment, I admit, it does look a little strange. There's the whistle, and here we go. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? I see this guy, Romagnoli, um, as the latest in, in a line of fine Italian defenders, and he's very adept with his feet. This, this allows him to play, you know, all sorts of passes out from defence, but he also plays himself out of pressure and, and keeps everything moving. He's, a, he's quite a cool character. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Marosic. It's an inviting looking ball that. Strong running down that left flank. Crosses it in. They've won a corner. Great leap! Breakthrough strike! Just so calm under pressure, and he managed to fashion a fine finish. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position, and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked a scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Lazio go ahead, one goal to the good. And it's played forward. Romagnoli cuts it out. Lazzari. Lazio do love to play with a bit of width, Jim. Yeah, and just notice the way when they ping it out wide, the prompt for those in central midfield to make their forward runs, and they're looking to get on the end of whatever arrives. Lazzari chooses to go cross field. Well, I wouldn't quite advise they should resort to risk taking at this stage. There's plenty of time left yet. Skims one in, and the keeper's in command. Forwards and with intent. Vlasic. Good, strong midfield running here. Well, he is the type of character who rises to this sort of challenge, and he will be back for more. Look, the only way of becoming more aware, Peter, is by lifting your head and realising who's where around you. Plays it from a quarterback position. Luis Alberto has created one goal already. He's had a hit! He scores! And this is getting better and better.
The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. Lazio take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Nicked it back promptly. Marusic. Oh, nice touch. Alexei Miranchuk sends it forward. And they can counter here. Fiddles it through. He's through here. Shot a goal! Just off target. <laughs> Referee's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half time. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Here we go again. Well, this half might require them to produce a plan A, B and C. Leveling the score is easier said than done, but that will be the target. Get back on terms and then use that momentum to go again. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach, and it may just freshen things up. Chance! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. And that has been clubbed away. Moved forward and quickly so. Caught offside that time. And it's hoisted clear. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Well, that's down to a simple miscalculation. No more, no less. It's a pretty loose pass. Yeah, I think the word from the touchline, Peter, is that defence needs to focus on runners and, and balls over the top. Yeah, it's a, a clear change in approach, isn't it? Yeah, and if they drop... Can he finish? Zapata with a predatory goal. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that fate. That's just as the manager would have seen it. An impact sub. This is threatening to become a really good game. Our scoring early in this half just takes the pressure off now and allows them a chance to be a bit more patient in trying to level things up. Oh, can he get onto this? And he's on a charge. 
Boothley does it. Well, that is a good challenge from him. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Cross goes in there. Radonjic. Played out to the right. Back into the middle. Looking here to chip it through. Now it's Lazaro. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. There is an irresistible, irrepressible look about them here. You know, the interest value in this game might just take off from here. Oh, that's neat. Great chance! Now, who's going to be first to this? Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Great hit! And yes, it's there! Oh, high-quality goal. Lovely first touch. Sumptuous second. This has become one superb game of football. Well, that goal just serves to give them the momentum and psychological edge now at this stage, but for me, they've got to chase a winner. In comes the cross. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Radonjic. Well, yeah, he's fouled him there. And that has been cleared. Well, now here's a good battle, bicep to bicep. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Goal kick as confirmed by the referee. Luis Alberto. There will be four extra minutes. They're avoiding the blatantly obvious by not getting the ball into the opposition box. That's where it has to be. He's making a real surge on the left. Nice control. And the referee brings it to a close.